All right, guys. Today we're going to see if we can attempt to make a floating frame for this picture. Granddaughter made this for me for my birthday. It's roughly maybe about three quarter inch thick. Don't know the exact measurements, but we'll get that here and uh, we'll get started. Hi, hey guys. We're gonna you how to make a floating picture frame today. Um, something I've always wanted to try. Um, so let's give this a shot. You know, first off, uh, the picture itself, um, just like at the art galleries, however, whatever, uh, it has a space around the side, so it makes it appear that the picture itself is sitting inside the frame um, with nothing holding it around the edges. Uh, that's what we're going to give a shot. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it today. I know first off you have to get your measurements. So this picture here is uh, 8 inch wide and it's 10 inch tall. Um, I understand that. So on our wood, this on our wood for the outside frame we want to make sure that it's big enough to give us that uh, quarter inch reveal around the edge so what I've got here is a 1 by 3 this one over Home Depot picked it up um, they have the one 1 by 3's I got a 6 foot length I didn't need a whole 8 foot should have probably bought an 8 foot but uh, the price of lumber right now is a little up, but this is not a bad price uh, for this project. So the main thing is what you want to do here is instead of 8 inch, you want to make it 8.5. Um, that way then you have an extra quarter inch on each side when you center it. So the inside cut will be your 8.5 inch on this frame itself. And you're going to cut the wood uh, not flat, but you're going to cut it on its edge. Uh, you'll understand what I mean here now to show you. Um, this end here, I already did, had another project I cut. You can see how it's on the edge here instead of here. Okay, so that way then the, the frame will stand, uh, this will be three inches tall here. Now, on the inside, you're going to have to make another frame on the inside. So, on the other board, remember, we said that the 8-inch uh, is going to be on the inside cut. And then your angles will go off in this direction. Okay? Um, but, on, on, I'm sorry, on this board here, it will be your inside cut, because remember, we're cutting lengthwise so we get the depth uh, for the picture to sit in. The picture will sit basically right about like this. Okay, it'll be up towards the edge, but you'll have a quarter inch reveal around the edge. So I hope you're getting the idea and you'll see as we go along um, how this all works. Now on this one we measure the inside of our frame. Okay. I picked up some one by two, same thing, but on this one, we're going to cut it flat, just like a basic regular, not on the edge, but on the flat. And now on this one, instead of measuring the inside of the frame, we're going to measure the outside, because what this is going to do is you're going to build two frames, and one frame is going to sit inside the other frame. Um, you'll understand as we go along, so just keep watching here. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe. Uh, Sarah likes that. She likes seeing all the different people uh, on the big screen. Okay, so let's get up out to the get up to the saw and let's get this cut and let's see if we can uh, get this going.
All right, got that all cut. I think we're ready to roll here. Let's see what we can do with this. Now remember I said that we had to have them cut on the long side. So the frame is, is the, the depth. So let's get this set up here and that. Let's see how this is going to turn out. These are my, remember, eight and a half on the inside. Okay, these are eight and a half. And these here are from the edge here to the edge here is ten and a half. That's going to give me my extra quarter inch reveal around the edge of the picture. So let's see how this is going to turn out. Okay. We haven't glued it. This is rough. We know it. Alright. Now my other pieces, remember like I said, we're not cutting them on the edge. We're cutting them on the flat. Not the edge. On the flat. And remember, it's not the inside measurement on this one. It's the outside measurement, because this has to sit inside the frame. Do you see? Goes right in. This one goes right in. Then I got, remember, not the inside, it's the outside. This is ten and a half. This, this one right here is uh, the inside diameter. Um, it's ten and a half. This one's ten and a half. And then that way, then the picture will sit right inside. And you'll see how it gives you that floating effect on the inside. I know my lighting isn't the greatest. But this is how it's basically going to look. So it has space around it. And you'll see how this all comes together. So. Now I'm not going to bore you with the gluing. Uh, we all know how to glue the frames together. So let's get these frames glued. And then we'll come back and we'll get this all finished up. And we'll see how this all turns out. Oh, and by the way, the picture was from my granddaughter. She made that for my birthday, so I'm kind of proud of that. So I figure I'm going to go ahead and fix it up real nice, put it all together, and uh, we'll go from there. All right. All righty. Got our frame all dried up, ready to roll. Got our inner frame. Had to do a little sanding on it. Uh, it wasn't so bad. And, uh, just had to get a little sanding of the dust off of it and stuff. Corners, rounded them off a little bit, just so they'd slide in a little easier, which was nice. I'll right, see. And it's going to fit in there just fine. See how that goes inside now. So you have a little recessed edge here. What we're going to do now picture down. And we're going to put our frame around. Whoops. Our picture going the right way. Put this over the top. And we'll set this in place. take a little time. It'll fit. Uh, rotate it. I don't think my frames are completely square, so that's why I'm having a problem. We'll get it here. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Let's come up from the bottom. There we go. Okay. Out on there. Just up over the top. Get down in there. Now you're going to see, 
place there. Now this is going to start to take shape here. Now it's going to start rotating around. Pretty cool by the time it's all done. Okay, so I'm happy with that, the way it's sitting. Yep. I'm pretty happy with that right there. I'm kind of liking that. Okay, get rid of the picture. Now I know where my frame is going to sit. Um, some people will tack nail into it uh, to hold it into place. Um, I have nothing wrong with that. Uh, but for just simplicity, I'm just going to go ahead and run a bead of glue around the edge so it holds it in place. It's just real simple and real easy. So let's get that done here. Now make sure your glue doesn't run down into your spaces. Um, not a good thing because then it would be in the way of the picture and wouldn't be any good. that dry and we'll come back and we'll finish it off here all right guys now to finish the frame up here um, I kind of decided with the picture that was made I think I'm gonna go with a dark inside border and then a lighter outside just to match the image itself so let me see if I can get this set up All right, after burning it, I decided to go with just the gloss right over the natural wood. It came out pretty good. Right now, I've got it upside down. Picture is underneath, it's centered. As I flipped it over, um, I made sure it stayed in there. You can see on the inside where the frame is. Uh, now we're just gonna attach the picture to the frame. Uh, main thing here is, is just Make sure it's centered. Don't go too deep. You don't want to go too far in. Simple drill. A little, a little pilot hole. And remember, we are. I am using pine, so um, I don't want to split it, that's why the pilot hole. Pine will split. Known to do that. Screw isn't all that big, but it's enough. And that's basically all you need right for that.
bit of luck. That's basically it. And there you go. And that's how it's done. You can see the reveal around the whole side. A little loose because I don't have it. That side's not even attached. got to fix as you go along. We all know it. Um, but this is basically your floating frame. I'll get a little hanger. Uh, I'll put a little hanger on the back of it. But you can see, I just went with a light burn around the whole side. I think it's a cool effect. Uh, around on the inside here, I made sure the inside edge was nice and dark. You can see, got a little burnt here. That's good. I think it's a nice contrast to everything. Uh, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Uh, any questions you go and ask, don't forget to like and subscribe. Sarah always likes watching the people on the TV. Uh, she barks at them quite often, so other dogs and pets. But any which direction. I hope you guys learned something. It's a very simple, easy project, takes a little time, um, but the, I think the whole effect by the time it's done is going to be really cool. So, um, until next time, guys, you all take care. Bye now.